If you clicked in this video, this means you're an anime lover. Or maybe a weep, just like me. Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I have some new things for you guys, especially if you are an anime lover and a crusher. This video is for you. I got you guys with a lot of ideas. Plus, most of them are video tutorials, so enjoy. In this video, I have uh, six categories, which are clothing, hats, amigurumi, grits, keychains, and a miscellaneous. And without further ado, let's just jump to the first category, which is clothing. Let's start with this Howry. Uh, it's Tanjiro's Howry. This one is like more accurate that's why it looks like big so it's inspired by the howdy and it's a kind of video tutorial if you want and it's super easy actually you're only gonna do a lot of squares with two colors green and black and attach them all super easy just you need a lot of time to make all the squares that's it and we have another Kimitsu no Yaiba inspired thing, which is this Shinobo Kosho Hauri. It's gorgeous, like the details in it and all the stuff. And it's a video tutorial that you can make if you want. If you're a Shinobo Kosho fan, you can make this too. And you can make this easy Akatsuki sweater crochet. We have this version of the house coat. If you want to make an accurate one, you can make this one. But if you like to freehand things and stuff, you can use this tutorial to make um, the diamond part. This video is so good. If you want to make the diamond parts and then freehand your quote or cardigan so it's going to be inspired by how's uh, house quote if you just want like a fitted uh, cardigan not a big one you can use this tutorial to make the diamonds we have again a Tanjiro inspired cardigan it's not specifically a video tutorial but she in the video gave some informations on how she did the squares and stuff and actually you can follow any uh, patchwork cardigan tutorial that you like you you need just to use the right color so you can make so you can make it similar to Tanjiro's Hauri another Tanjiro thing but this time it's actually a vest it's unique it's new I didn't expect to see something like this and it's super cool like I'm obsessed with it it's so good new idea create so creative like and it's a video tutorial you can follow it i like this one a lot especially with how she's wearing it i want to make this one day this and the cardigan absolutely and the last project in this category is crochet totoro cardigan and now let's move to our next category which is hats i'm actually so shocked with how many hats anime inspired I found like there was a lot so here's like a 10 or maybe an 11 one for you guys so let's start this category with Luffy's hat um, and it's tutorial and it's adorable let's see what we have else I think when I saw this I thought it's so cool Monokuma a hat, you can try it. And we have another One Piece thing, which is Trafalgar D Waterloo hat. Also, we have, I, th I think this one is so cute and unique. A Sailor Moon hat. The pattern had a lot of sizes, so if you want to make it for yourself or for a, um, for a kid, you can just use the right measurements and you can make it. Another Kimitsu no Yaiba crochet inspired thing, which is this Sabito Kitsune mask crochet hat tutorial. We have this Akatsuki hat crochet tutorial. I think the, it's from the same creator of the other hat. Another Kimitsu no Yaiba inspired thing, which is this Nezuko slouchy hat. And it's a free 
better, not a video. So cute. And we have this one. It's, I think his name was Urahara, I think. It's Urahara. Anyway, he, he's like, he was a sensei in that, in that anime, in the bleach. So if you, if you're an, I actually want to make this. I was thinking of finding a pattern and I found this by accident and I was like, definitely I'm gonna make this. And we have this one, this hat, but this tutorial is uh, just to show you how to switch colors and that's it. But this is not anime related, I know, but use the right colors. You can use white and red so you can make a Todoroki inspired hat. Todoroki has two colors in his hair, half white and half red, so you can make this beanie. And I think the last one in our hat category is this Sailor Moon cat hat. I'm so sorry if I'm saying things wrong, but I've never watched Sailor Moon, but I know that a, like a lot of people love uh, loved it. So you can make this one if you are a Sailor Moon and a cat lover also. This is actually all what we have in our hats category. So let's move to another category, which is, let's see, keychains. In keychains, we have a lot of One Piece things, a lot of One Piece ideas, but most of the tutorials about the keychains are not in English, and I'm so sorry. I I tried to search for English tutorials, but I didn't find any. So this one is not in English. I think it's in Spanish, maybe, but it's a video tutorial, so you can see the stitches and stuff. So just focus more on how many she made, how many stitches she was doing and stuff, and you're going to make it like normally don't like don't get overwhelmed because the video is not in english so let's start with this keychains which are uh, actually three parts and i'm going to link them all and they're all in the playlist we have in it um uh, luffy's hat keychain sabo's hat keychain and ace's hat keychain three keychains so adorable another one piece uh crochet ideas we have Mary Go keychain and Sunny Go keychain. So we have now another keychain, another anime from Jujutsu Kaisen. We have Gojo Satoru head keychain. So you can make this one or you can make this Anya from uh, Spy Family. And last one in our category is this volleyball keychain. If you're an Haikyuu lover, I have an idea for you. This is a normal keychain, okay? Not an anime related or anything. But you can choose the right colors so you can make it based on your favorite team in Haikyuu. So if you like um, Hinata's team, which I forgot what was its name. Uh, so you can make it, you can use white and black and orange. So you can make it with any color that matches your favorite team so you can make a matching volleyball keychain you can make it for yourself or for your friends who are uh, high queue lovers you can make them based on their favorite teams get creative with it just choose the right colors guys this is the last one in the keychain category let's move to another category which is grids so the thing about grids is that you only need to know how to tapestry crochet and you're gonna master this i have a lot of grid crochet and there's tons of them in pinterest and everywhere and you can even make your own in some websites and apps so i have some for you if you want to get inspired by them so let's start with this Jujutsu Kaisen one. It's Gojo Satoru and her his friend. I forgot his name. Anyway, Gojo Satoru and his friend. This cute little grid. It's so cute for our Death Note lovers. There's this Yuzaki L L. You can make it. There's also this Akatsuki Cloud. There's also 
Itachi standing on that that thing. You can make this one too if you're an Itachi fan. Uh, there's this. I think this cat is from um, Kiki's or Kiki's delivery system or something. I've never watched that movie and I want to watch it. And I think there was a cat there. So I think this is the cat in that movie. So you can make this. I've seen a lot of people making this grid and hanging it on the wall and making it as a jewelry hanger. We have this kanji character in Gara's forehead and it means love. You can make this Hanako grid. It's super detailed with a lot of with a lot of squares in it and it's going to be big if you make it. But if you want, go ahead. Go crazy and make it like a sweater in a sweater in a front my in a panel in a front or a back panel. And we have here another enemy bleach if you want to make this Kurosaki. If you want to make Kurosaki's mask, there's this grid. Another anime, another idea for crochet. If you are an Attack on Titan fan, you can make this that I'm going to show you. You can make the survey corps grid or the training corps or the military police brigade or the garrison. They're all for you guys to make if you want. And I think that's it for the grids category. Let's move to the next category, which is amigurumi or plushies, you know. We have this written pattern, no face plush. It's a free amigurumi pattern. You can make this one if you like spirited away. You can make this free pattern. I think this cat is, was from that movie that I've told you. You can make this devil fruit so unique, especially if you have a shelf full of One Piece volumes. You can make it and put it on the shelf. It's going to be so cute. We have this Totoro plushie or Amigurumi. This is also a video tutorial. There's a new anime here, which is Pokemon. If you're a Pokemon fan, you can make this big plushy like it's so big and it's free and it's adorable make it it's a free written pattern i'm gonna link it down go and make it we have this cute satoru gojo cat this tutorial is not in english so you know use your eyes we have another one piece thing and it's this small Amigurumi Zoro. This creator has a lot of Amigurumi about One Piece, so you can check her channel and make whatever character you want. The last one that we have is Kon Crochet Tutorial. This <laughs> this uh, plushy and bleach, you can make it if you want. This video is not in English, I think. I've said this several times, but you know, just in case. Now, let's jump to our last category, which is miscellaneous. We have this My Neighbor Totoro Crochet Pouch or Card Holder. You can make this Sailor Moon Scrunchies. If you're a Naruto fan, you can make this Naruto Headband Crochet Tutorial. So easy. We have this Sasuke Renegan Crochet Coaster. You can make this one or even instead of using purple you can use red and make a Sharingan coaster. We have another coaster, a Pokeball coaster if you're a Pokemon fan. Another Pokemon thing which is this Poke, uh, Pokeball bag. And the last one in this category and in this video is this big huge giant Kurumi rug. Uh, you can also make different styles, different characters, not only this Kurumi, using granny squares. You can search for any grid that you like and make a lot of granny squares and attach them and at the end you go you're going to have like your favorite character in your huge blanket or rug. And I guess that's it for today's video. If you're still watching, thank you so much for being here. What else should I say? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get inspired by the, the ideas that I've showed you. 
please if you enjoyed watching this video like and subscribe if you want but i'm not going to promise you that i'm going to be consistent for now comment please give me your ideas give me your opinions if you want to see more videos like this so that's it thank you so much for watching again and see you in another video bye bye